Just a quick disclaimer that I put at the beginning of this video to not waste your time if you're looking for an actual fix. This is Bethesda's actual fix, and if you're wondering why the game is fucked up for so many, then keep watching and see. But uh, guys, don't shoot the messenger. Why the fuck do I got an arrow in the knee? Do not attempt to adjust your set. This is a Streaming Freedom Video Bulletin. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In the continuation of my Skyrim coverage trying to help you the Skyrim community through the issues that is plaguing it because of the 1.20 patch with information and fixes I have a little bit of both here in this video. I uh, found Bethesda's official <laughs> fix for what they claim to do if you're getting issues like black screen and if your game's fucked up, in other words. Now, uh, I'm going to stress right here at the very beginning. I don't believe it's going to work any more than our own fixes do. But I figured I brought you every other, you know, potential fix that hopefully some have worked for you. So, I might as well bring you the ones that Bethesda claims will work. I figured I might as well get the information straight from the horse's ass. Or, uh, mouth. Uh, yeah, I was right the first time, wasn't I? any case there will be a fix for the PlayStation 4 and a fix for the Xbox and I will put timestamps in there for both of those communities and then have uh, in closing my own thoughts about their fixes afterwards what to do if the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim is crashing or getting a black screen on PlayStation if the below listed troubleshooting does not resolve the issue please be aware that we are investigating an issue with players getting crashing and or black screens when they do not have mods installed we are working towards a resolution and this will be resolved in an upcoming patch if you would like to be notified of updates on this topic log in to the help portal and select subscribe to article on this article when we update this article, you will be sent an email notification that it has been updated. Note, if the game has been recently updated, mods and add-ons may not work properly until they are updated by the mod creator. This can cause unforeseen issues, for example, black screens, crashes, visual UI errors. To eliminate these as the cause, you will need to completely remove mods from your game. You can then add them back when you, to your game later. Instructions for how to remove a mod can be found here. How do I uninstall a mod for the Elder Scrolls V Special Edition? You can also see what mod you have subscribed to and unsubscribed to from here. If you are experiencing issues with the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition crashing on your PlayStation, you can try these following troubleshooting solutions. Restart the game. Press the PS button on your controller to go to the dashboard. Highlight the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition and press Options. Select Close Application and press X. Highlight Yes and press X. To restart, highlight Skyrim and press X. Disable your mods. To disable a mod, open the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition and select Mods from the main menu. From there, the mod Find the mod you wish to uninstall in your library, select it, and use the Disable option. Delete your mods. To delete a mod, open the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition and select Mods from the main menu. From there, find the mod you wish to delete in your library, select it, and use the Delete option. Power Cycle the Console To power cycle your PlayStation, press and hold the PS button on your controller. Turn off the PlayStation with Turn Off and Not in Rest Mode. Make sure the light goes out on the console and then unplug its power cable and wait 10 seconds. Plug the power cable back in and turn the console back on by pressing the PS button on your controller. Uninstall and reinstall the game. To uninstall Skyrim from your PlayStation, follow the steps below. From the PlayStation menu, navigate to Library. Locate and highlight the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. 
Press the Options button on your controller. Select Delete and Confirm. Note that this process will not delete your game save files, but only the game itself. If desired, game save files can be backed up and saved online by navigating to Settings, then Application Saved Data. Once complete, you can reinstall the game from your library or game disk. If you continue to experience issues, you should contact PlayStation Support for further troubleshooting here. Gee, it's almost like they're trying to blame Sony for this instead of themselves. I wonder if they'll do the same to Microsoft. Let's find out, shall we? And I guess I'm going to have to read all this again in case you uh, Xbox people skip to this part. What to do if the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is crashing or getting a black screen on Xbox? If the below listed troubleshooting does not resolve the issue, please be aware that we are investigating an issue with players getting crashing and or black screens when they do not have mods installed. We are working towards a resolution and this will be resolved in an upcoming patch. If you would like to be notified of updates on this topic, log in to the help portal and select subscribe to article on this article. When we update this article, you will be sent an email notification that it has been updated. Note, if the game has been recently updated, mods and add-ons may not work properly until they are updated by the mod creator. This can cause unforeseen issues, for example, black screens, crashing, visual UI errors. To eliminate these as the cause, you will need to completely remove mods from your game. You can then add them back to your game later. Instructions on how to remove a mod can be found here, How do I uninstall a mod for the Elder Scrolls V Special Edition. You can also see what mod you have subscribed and unsubscribed from them here. If you are experiencing issues with the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition crashing or getting a black screen on your Xbox, you can try the following troubleshooting solutions. Restart the game. To restart Skyrim Special Edition, press the Xbox button on your controller to return to the home screen. Press the Menu button on your controller, select Quit and press A to close Skyrim. Select the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition from the home screen and press A to restart. Disable your mods. To disable a mod, open the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition and select Mods from the main menu. From there, find the mod you wish to uninstall in your library, select it, and use the Disable option. Delete your mods. To delete a mod, open the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition and select Mods from the main menu. From there, find the mod you wish to delete in your library, select it, and use the Delete option. If you are unable to load the game to delete mods, you can still do so by the following steps below. Navigate to My Games and Apps on the Xbox One dashboard. Highlight the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition from the Games category. Press Menu on the controller and select Manage Game. Navigate to the right where the saved data is located and highlight Reserved Space. Press Menu on your controller and select Clear Reserved Space. If the Reserved Space fails to clear, you should power cycle your Xbox One and try again. Power Cycle the Console To power cycle your Xbox, Press and hold the Xbox button on the front of the console for 10 seconds. Unplug the console's power cable and wait for 10 seconds. Plug the power cable back in and turn the console back on by pressing the Xbox button again. Uninstall and reinstall the game. Uninstall the game on your Xbox by accessing your Manage Game and Add-ons menu. Do not delete your save files, but only the game itself. Once complete, you can reinstall the game from your library or disk. If you continue to experience issues, you should contact Microsoft Support for further troubleshooting here. Oh gee, it's kind of like they're trying to blame Microsoft instead of themselves. Almost like the same thing they just did with Sony. So yeah. No wonder nobody knows how to actually fix their game. Now, one thing I will say uh, is, at least on the Xbox side of things, they are a little bit more detailed if you're unable to get into the game to delete and uh, to disable and delete your mods on how to do it. However, that is coming from the perspective of somebody that has never in their life owned an Xbox, so I do not know how they work anything about them. Perhaps to the Xbox people, that is as obvious as them stating to the Sony people to turn the system on and off. 
But in any case, I originally intended this video to be helpful, like the other ones hopefully have at least somewhat been. I thought if, by chance, for whatever reason, you were not able to find Bethesda's official fix for the uh, games on your respective platforms, that this could be helpful because this is, you know, their official fix. And then, as I started putting this video together and reading <laughs> their official fix, I come to the point that I don't know whether to upload this or not. If I do, I'm going to put a disclaimer at the beginning just to let you know it's a waste of time, but you might still get a kick out of whatever the hell that is that they call a fix. No wonder it is up to us as a community to continue uh, talking with one another and listing our fixes, our issues and things, we go into more detail about what is possibly causing issues to do with things like 0KB and, and black screen and all that than they ever did. Something else that really annoys me is the fact that they uh, make it sound at the end of the article with what they tell you to do, which wouldn't fix really anything in my opinion, uh, the issues that people are having if it were that simple. We wouldn't be having to have all of these what-if videos, but that if that doesn't work, then to contact Sony or Microsoft, trying to put the blame off on them like it's their console. Now, it's true that uh, with the PlayStation, the PS4 Pro does have a harder time uh, running Skyrim than the PS4 Slim does, and I do not know if there's anything like that with the Xbox side of things. However... If it were your consoles that were what was causing the issue, then you would be uh, having that on all games, not just Skyrim and, from what I've read in the comments section, Fallout. The other thing that really annoys me is that they're trying to blame the mod authors for this, that their mods aren't updated. For one, I know from reading uh, the comment by the mod author Julia, they are working trying to get the mods up to the uh, anniversary edition code but the thing is is the mod authors did not change that code or the compiler or anything about the way the game runs Bethesda did then you would think if Bethesda was going to change all of that they had to have known they were planning this for a while why not get in touch with the mod authors say now for this and the creation club content which a lot of them also create we need you to make these changes so that when we make this update making the changes to the game it doesn't go batshit crazy but of course no that would be too simple so friends uh, the only thing that I can say is I have videos up on the channel I do not know if any of the potential fixes in them from my theories or your own fixes will work for hopefully they will work for some but they aren't obviously going to work for a lot it's just because the game is so broken and in so many ways but you can always check the channel page and find those they're all grouped together because Skyrim has been all I have been doing now as of late trying to help you the community out to get your games working um, if you think it might be a good thing to wait you can try to wait for this patch that they're going to be releasing supposedly on Tuesday uh, I do not know if they will release it or not then they could push it back it could make things worse I hope not but I mean we have no way of knowing and uh, yeah we're still all in the same boat of just trying to get this game running again and uh, it's a good thing we have each other as a community to do this because the official fixes yeah so friends uh, thank you if you watch this video because I know this one once I put it together and seen what I was reading I know this really is not going to be a, a help maybe to somebody that's just starting out on PlayStation or Xbox maybe there's something in there that is helpful to you and if so I sincerely hope so for the rest of us I hope at least we had a good laugh out of this. Thank you for watching. Take care. This has been a Streaming Freedom Video Bulletin. Peace out.